She's an up-and-coming country music star hailing from Quebec and now Nashville. Justine Blanchett is working on her first EP, and this song, Heartless, is one of the singles on it. And in a few weeks, garnered more than 140,000 views on YouTube, and in just a couple of days, it'll make its debut on country radio. And joining us from the mecca of country music, Nashville, of course, is Justine Blanchett. Thanks so much for joining us, and congratulations on your new single. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So let's break it down. Heartless, not like heartless, but heartless. It's, it's a great sounding song. Uh, we should mention it's not your first single. And I also understand an Alberta country music songwriter also helped with the lyrics here. Yes, um, it is actually my 10th single that I released since the beginning of my career. Um, it's been quite a journey and super, super proud and honored to be able to do Heartless as a song. Um, the lyrics really caught me on on this. It was such great songwriting. I really couldn't pass it up. And so I went ahead and recorded it. And Mackenzie Porter is the Albertan who uh, helped also with the writing on this one. What was it like working with her or did you have a chance to work with her? I did not. I had somebody who sourced the songs for me. Uh, but as soon as I saw her name on there, I was like, this is amazing. Awesome. And the other two on there are Emily Weisband and Jordan Schmidt. And so I was like, great songwriters. This song was really well crafted and um, really an honor to do. Absolutely. And your debut EP, Don't Ask Me to Dance, that's coming out in June. That's exciting. How involved are you in the process of the EP? Um, I'd have to say very involved. I'm pretty much 100% um, there. Um, it's been a project that's been going on for about three years, I'd have to say. And so all of it just, it's coming together pieces by pieces, the recording, the music videos, the publicity, the radios, and all of it. And so uh, my mom helps me out quite a bit and my publicist does an amazing job. So it's been incredible to be part of this project and be so involved. Yeah, you have to have a great team behind you to have all that type of success. Uh, tell us about your road to Nashville. That's where you are right now. It started in Montreal and you were also an opera singer, I understand. <laughs> yes, so uh, when I originally started my music career, I guess, um, it was, I'm going on 10 years this year. And it was originally after um, I was in the hospital for an acute appendicitis. And so I spent three weeks there and coming out of that at 12 years old, I kind of wanted to have an impact and do something. It sounds weird coming from a 12 year old, I know, <laughs> but I, I just wanted to do something. And so singing felt appropriate. And um, I started off with opera. I just thought it was fun and interesting um, and then two years in I was like I have zero Italian roots and this is not me <laughs> and I've always loved country music my mom introduced me to lots of legends out there and so it just felt a lot more appropriate and a lot more me to go for country music and so when I was 15 I went ahead and made the switch and started writing my own songs and um, during the pandemic I was obviously a little bit on, on the low thinking about starting a new era of music and stepping up my game really. And so um, during summer of 2021, um, going to Nashville felt like the right move. And um, that's what I did and I've been doing that ever since. And it looks good on you too, Justine. So tell us what Nashville's been like. I've read that you've performed at a few special places, including the famous Bluebird Cafe. Yes, I got to perform there. That was actually back in, oof, I want to say 2015 or 2016, one of the two. And um, that was a great experience. It was just fun to, uh, it was one of their open mic nights on a Monday night. And uh, my family and I were taking a little trip um, along the East Coast of the United States. And we had a blast. And my parents were calling in the Bluebird with both of their cell phones, trying to get somebody to pick up. And... <laughs> We were able to get a spot and I was able to sing a couple original songs and it was incredible. Uh, but Nashville is amazing. I love the proximity of everything. I love how everybody is just connected. It seems like a big town, but everybody knows each other and you run into everyone you know all the time and it's fabulous. Now we have a little something here called the Calgary Stampede. I Have you ever performed at it? Would you like to? I haven't performed there, but I would love, love, love to be invited to play there. It'd be an amazing experience. Now, you've been in Calgary before for the uh, Canadian uh, Country Music Awards last year. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, exactly. Last September. 
La yes, ma'am. I don't know if I'm used to being calling ma'am, but I, I, you're so polite and you're so lovely. And, you know, we, we're just so excited for you, actually. Uh, we'd love to have you here at the Calgary Stamp. We'll have to do some connections and, and hook you up and have you performing out here. Absolutely. It'd be super fun. All right. Well, Justine, thank you so much for joining us. And again, congratulations on all your success so far. To connect with Justine, you can head online to justineblanchett.com or find her on social media and YouTube.